Hey folks, it's Mike with Fletcher Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram right here in Jonesboro. Here to talk to you today about all the different packages available on the Wrangler. If you're watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out right now which package is best for you. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of break down the differences in each package because it's really kind of a confusing vehicle when it comes to the different models. Uh, by far, the Wrangler is the most customizable vehicle on the market, more so than a truck or anything else that you're going to find. Uh, so you see every Wrangler is kind of like, they're like motorcycles. I mean, every one that you see is completely different. Uh, once people get them, they like to start customizing them, making them their own vehicle. A couple things that are standard on every Wrangler. Uh, first off, you've got the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. This motor here has 285 horsepower. It's our most powerful engine ever in a Wrangler. It's a fantastic motor. Now, in every Wrangler, you also have the option of an automatic transmission or manual transmission, and you can get a manual in any package. It's definitely your choice on that. So today we're gonna to talk about the Sport. We're gonna talk about the Sahara, the Rubicon, the Hard Rock, and then also some of the uh, special packages that Wrangler also puts out from time to time. Also standard with the Wranglers, you still have the, the doors that can be removed, front and rear doors if it's a four door. Uh, you're gonna have your choice in soft top or hard top. Again, that's in every package available. You still have a windshield that can fold down if that's your thing, some people. I've actually personally never met anybody that's ever put their windshield down, but you can't actually do that. Uh, the Wranglers are just a lot of fun. They're completely customizable. They all come standard in four-wheel drive. Uh, it's probably, I don't know of another four-wheel drive convertible on the market, so that makes it very unique, very interesting. You can take it anywhere, you can do anything, have a lot of fun, and the new Wrangler is just more practical than it ever was in the past. Uh, first package I wanna talk about is actually the Sport package. This has the widest variety of different options that you can get on it. So this here is a sport package uh, that actually has the upgraded alloy wheels. Uh, the hard top has been added to it. Now you can get these with or without power equipment. So you can get manual windows and manual locks. Um, they do come standard with cruise control on all the models. One thing I caution you if you're shopping other dealerships, make sure if you're looking at a sport that it has air conditioning because that is an option and it is not standard on the sport model. So in the sport, you can also get, uh, like I said, power equipment, keyless entry, touch screen radio, leather interior. You can really get it pretty well equipped. Uh, a lot of people think the sport is just the base model, but you really can add it up and put all the features on that you want. Uh, I wanna go ahead and show you the four door two. Uh, this is also a sport package. This is the most popular package we probably sell. The 24S package is what we call it. Uh, now the 24S is going to come standard with power windows locks, keyless entry, uh, the 17 inch alloy wheels with an upgraded tire. Uh, normally your base uh, sport that has uh, the 16 inch steel wheels also only comes with manual uh, windows and locks. So that's one of the differences there. Again on the sport, you can get leather, touchscreen radio, you can get Alpine sound system. Again, your choice of tops, your choice of transmissions. This is the sport package here, very customizable all the way from the base model, loaded on up from there. Now the next package is the Sahara. And really, I think of the Sahara package as the luxury package, almost kind of like you'd call the top of the line. And a lot of people think that's actually the Rubicon. I'll talk about that next, but the Rubicon is actually not our luxury package. The Sahara here, you're gonna see some of the differences first off the appearance. Uh, on the 2016 models, you have a body color uh, bumper insert there. In the past, that was all silver on all of them. But they've also gone in and added uh, grill inserts, headlight inserts, those are silver on all the models. Uh, again, these are fully customizable vehicles. We've seen people take those out, have them painted black. You can really dress them up however you want. The Sahara also comes standard with the body color fender flares, as well as a upgraded wheel. Now this one here, there's two wheel options in Sahara. You've got the 18 inch alloys, and then this is a upgraded seven spoke polished wheel. The Sahara also comes standard with the uh, running boards that's standard on every Sahara. And an option that you can get on Sahara that's not available in support on the Sport model is you can get the body color hard top here. Again, you can still get a soft top in a Sahara. Inside, you're going to have a little bit different interior. It's dressed up with some silver accents. They do come standard with cloth. You can add leather, upgraded radio navigation. Again, you can start adding on the options from there. So this uh, Sahara is a real popular model because it's got a lot of the dress up appearance that people like. Now, next one I'm gonna show you is the Rubicon package. Now, a lot of people think Rubicon means four door, and that's just not so. The Rubicon is actually a vehicle that's built for off-roading. Uh, you know, it has a great on-road uh, drive, but 
if you want to get really extreme off-road this is the vehicle for you so up front you're going to notice again some different wheels it's got the factory bf goodrich tires it's a mud terrain <clears throat> excuse me so a mud terrain so it's going to have more grip wherever you go the rubicon also comes standard with the rock rail that's a steel rail on the bottom of it to help to protect your rocker panel uh, the stuff that you don't see underneath is really what makes the Rubicon. So it's got a different transfer case in it. It's got the Rock Track transfer case with a 4 to 1 low ratio. It's got the Dana 44 front and rear axles. You also have front and rear uh, locking axles, so you can lock the front and the rear axle. And then it's also got an electronic disconnect sway bar. And all that does is it allows your front wheels to articulate uh, so that you get uh, more coverage and angle uh, when you're off-roading. Okay. So the Rubicon, you know, comes standard with the plastic fender flares. You can get painted fender flares. You can get the painted uh, top on that as well. Again, soft top, automatic, manual. That's all your choice. They come standard with cloth as well. But then you can start adding on the features uh, to get it dressed up like you want. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about, this is a really hot package. This is the Hard Rock. And you won't gonna, you're not going to see a lot of these on a lot of the lots. One, they're hard to get. We have sell a ton of them. And so we're actually able to get a lot of them, probably more so than our competitors. Now, the Hard Rock, a few of the things that come standard that really differenti differentiates this package versus the regular Rubicon, you get the metal bumpers. It's also dressed up with a few extra accents outside, like the red toe hooks in the front and the rear. Then you also have the Hard Rock hood. So this is a different hood than you've seen on the other models that we've looked at today. Uh, you got the same wheels as the Rubicon, but they're dressed out in black. The rock rails are a little different. They've got a bar that comes out a little bit further. It can be used as a sidestep. Uh, this one here has the upgraded painted fender flares and painted hardtop, leather interior, uh, touchscreen, nav radio. So this one here is very dressed up. But basically, your hard rock package is an appearance package. Now, again, on all Wranglers, you have the choice on hardtop, automatic, soft top. I mean, uh, really, we can load these things out however you want. Again, the doors are all removable, the tops are removable, and the tops are really great because it's a three-piece hard top. So you can come up and you've got two panels up here, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. You can take one off or well, actually you should take both off if you're going to take them off, but you can just take that off and it's like a big sunroof. You don't have to take the rest of the top off, but should you want to do that, it just makes that back top even lighter than it was before. Also, from time to time, you're going to see special packages on the Wranglers Usually when they make these, they make a limited quantity of them. So if you see one of these on the lot, it's something different. It's not going to last long. This is actually one of our very first 75th anniversary edition uh, Jeep Wrangler. So this one has a lot of different features uh, than you've seen on the other ones. So this one's actually got some metal bumpers like you saw on the Hard Rock, but they're painted in a different color. It's a bronze material, uh, bronze on the grill inserts, and also you got a different style wheel, which is also bronze. The badging on its bronze inside it's a completely different interior really cool package and the last one I want to show you this is actually another special edition for this year this is the backcountry model and the backcountry comes with all blacked out Rubicon wheels it also has a metal bumper that's a little bit different style than on the hard rocks you got a graphics package interiors also a little bit different as well so a lot of different options again we can customize these out however you want uh, come by and see us I mean Whatever you want to do, we're going to make the Wrangler yours. You're going to see some of our Wranglers are already dressed up on the lot. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of information in the different models. In the next few videos I'm going to do, we're actually going to take a special time on each package of the Wrangler to go a little bit more into detail. Thanks for watching and hope this helped.